And finally, there's one character who, despite just a little bit of screen time, has an enormous fan following. The bounty hunter Boba Fett delivered Han Solo and friends to Darth Vader in The Empire Strikes Back, then delivered a frozen Han Solo to the villainous Jabba the Hutt in Return of the Jedi. How this thorn in the hero's side became so popular with fans remains a mystery, but the actor who portrayed him, Jeremy Bullock, did his best to explain the phenomenon. One, one of the, the reasons, I think, is uh, certainly the costume is number one. It's a wonderful costume. Um, also, the mystery about him. And also, he's a bit of a Pied Piper, really. You know, they follow the tune. I mean, kids come up to you and go, wow, you're Boba. They relate to him. He's, he's evil, but he's not. He's also a nice guy somewhere, I think. So you, they can relate to that. You know, it's terrible if all kids said, look at this evil person. It, it's pretend violence with Boba Fett. It's not, it's not real, but uh, kids relate to him. And I'm amazed by the popular. I, mean, I still get a hundred letters a week. You know, even with the re-release out, it's been gone a year. Uh, and I reply to everybody, and I'm luckily I'm up to date. Being at this convention, I've brought a lot of stuff with me, and I've been writing, and it's gone off. Um, I'm amazed, really. Bullock portrayed Boba Fett in all scenes but one. In this scene, Fett is portrayed by the actor who also played Luke's snowspeeder gunner, Dak. Lord Vader, you may take Captain Solo to Jabba the Hutt after I have Skywalker. He's no good to me dead. He will not be permanently damaged. Fett's five lines were dubbed in by yet another actor. Bullock recalled how he got the role. Well, it's funny because Star Wars obviously was already out um, when I joined it in Empire Strikes Back. Um, as with every job, your agent calls you, and as an actor, you always hope he's going to call you. And he said, uh, oh, they want to see you on Monday for this Star Wars 2, he called it. I said, Star Wars 2? I said, well, sequels never work. So I said, oh, well, well, we'll go up for it. And they wanted to see a... Uh, a group of actors to play these bounty hunters, uh, what I thought was just one scene. But the interview was so nice, it's one of the nicest interviews I've had, because normally you have to do loads of talking and they say, yeah, that's not bad, but we'll do a screen test. Here, George Lucas, Irving Kirshner, Gary Kurtz, talk to me as I put the outfit on. And at the end of this, when I finally got everything on and walked around with a the gun, they said, yeah, that looks, uh, that looks pretty cool, okay, well, would you like to play the part of this bounty hunter? His name is Boba Fett. I said, well, yes, I mean, I love it. He said, well, it's only three weeks work, Jeremy, you know. And, well, welcome aboard. It was that simple, and, and that's how lucky one is, you know, really. I mean, it's just no hard work at all involved in the interview. It's wonderful. If you look closely, Bullock also appears in Empire without a mask. Here he plays an Imperial officer taking the rebels to Darth Vader's ship. Again, despite limited screen time, Boba Fett has also become one of the most marketable images from the trilogy, rivaling Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader in popularity. Fett's image has been captured as action figures, costumes, posters, t-shirts, and even coffee mugs. I mean, the character of Boba Fett has probably got more merchandise out about him than anyone, because people want to see, and I get stuff sent to me, sketches that people have done from three-year-olds, and I have a room at home, my wife's going crazy, it's, it's like a shrine to Boba Fett. Oh, really. Boba Fett! Boba Fett! Where? 